When you share a project from Final Cut Pro, you go up to the Share menu and select your destination. In this case, I'm going to choose Master File. And you have some options here. There's some settings and, and some good stuff here. Final Cut includes everything you need to get started, but it doesn't have an option to select a custom thumbnail or icon for the actual file that's going to be created. So I've already gone and exported this movie to my desktop. I've shared it here. And you'll notice the icon it selected is just a random still frame from my actual project. And that's fine, but if I want to actually make this thing presentable, I want to create a custom icon that I can use as the thumbnail. So I've gone ahead and created one here. I'm going to double click on it to open it up into preview. There's my custom icon. And using preview, I'm actually going to just do a shortcut, Command A. Same thing as going up to Edit and Select All. I'm going to copy this using Command C, or you can go to Edit and Copy. And now I'm going to go on to the QuickTime movie that I've exported here. I'm going to do Command I to get information about that file. And in the top left, you'll see this little QuickTime movie symbol here. I'm actually going to click on that. This is a, a clickable button. And I'm going to do Command V to paste in what I had copied. And you'll notice what it does up here is it actually pastes in that thumbnail that I selected. And over on the desktop, notice now our QuickTime movie is updated with the custom thumbnail that I created. So you can do that for QuickTime movies, but you can also do that for any file inside of Mac OS. This is not just specific to um, QuickTime movies or Final Cut or anything. You can do this with anything in, inside of Mac OS. Now another way you can update the icons is if you have one you already like that's being used on say, like you like the Final Cut Pro library icon here, you can actually just do Command I on those files as well. And you can do this with custom folders and all of that. And then in the top left corner, same thing, just click on that little icon that's there, use Command C to copy it. And then go on to the actual file or folder you want to paste this to and do Command V after you've selected the little icon in the top left corner. So now just notice on the desktop, the QuickTime movie file here, which if I double click on it, it's going to open it up in QuickTime. This QuickTime movie is still a QuickTime movie. We haven't changed it at all, but the icon has been updated. So again, if you're doing it in preview, just double click on the image you want to use. Click anywhere on it to, to make sure that it's selected. Use Command A to select all of that image and then copy it using Command C and then get info on the file or folder that you want to update the icon of. Do Command I to get information. Click on the little icon in the top left and do Command V to paste in that image. And that'll create your custom thumbnail or icon for your QuickTime movie. Now, if you actually want to use a custom frame from your movie, you want to select a different frame in the movie, you can do that inside of Final Cut Pro. What you'll want to do is go to the frame you want to use. Say I want to use this first frame here. Actually, let's go to the middle one. If I want to select one where the colors are inverted in this tutorial. And when you're on that frame, you're going to go up to Share, and you're going to share it as a still image which is not one of the default share destinations here. So you can actually go down and click on Add Destination. And in our list of destination here, there is one that says Save Current Frame. So I can just drag this over to my left column here. There's my Save Current Frame. You can have it as a TIFF file or use a JPEG. Really doesn't matter what uh, option you choose there. TIFF is going to give you probably one of the largest files, which is OK. And so now with our Save Current Frame destination, I can go up and hit Share, Save Current Frame. I'm going to save this as my thumbnail. Let's we'll call it the Thumbnail Frame. And I'm going to save it to the desktop to make it easy to get to. And now with that saved on the desktop, I can open that up into Preview, select all of it. It's shared it over here. Let me move it over. So if I'd open up this into Preview, I can now select all of this, use Command C to copy it, and then when I go into Get Info on the file itself, the movie, I can select the little icon in the top left and do Command V to paste in that custom thumbnail. And now notice on the desktop, it's going to update that 
so that the QuickTime movie now has the custom thumbnail instead of just the random one that was selected based on the type of file. So that's how you create a custom thumbnail and actually select one. And really these little things here, it, what it's doing when you paste it in, it's creating an icon file. So you're updating that file's icon. Um, but a lot of people know it as a thumbnail, so that's how you can do that. If you have any other questions, don't hesitate to put them in the comments below or send an email to finalcutprohelp at b.com. Have an excellent day, everyone. Make sure to subscribe to get the notifications with that little bell that we've posted another video.